During the Mesozoic era, the seas were literally swimming with life. Elegant ammonites drifted through the water pursued by giant hungry mosasaurs. When attacked, some ammonites jetted to safety. Others were not so lucky. Streamline ichthyosaurs frolicked in the ocean waves like modern-day dolphins. Overhead, pterosaurs rode the updrafts, their leathery wings outstretched, waiting to snag a fish with their sharp teeth. During the Triassic period, meat-eating dinosaurs began to terrorize the land. Their prey included small mammal-like creatures and larger plant eaters, such as rhynchosaurs. The dinosaurs weren't yet the rulers of the animal kingdom, however. They had to compete with other fierce reptiles for food and territory. In the Jurassic period, many plant-eating dinosaurs evolved plates and spikes. These armored tanks were more than prepared to defend themselves against prowling meat-eaters. The combination of plates and spikes probably defeated many hungry hunters. Were dinosaurs good parents? We know that some plant-eating dinosaurs nested together in large groups. This helped to protect the eggs and babies from predators. In the late Cretaceous period, the contest between predators and prey reached its height. Tyrannosaurus rex, the largest meat-eater to walk the earth, was always on the lookout for a meal. Although the body armor and sharp horns of Triceratops were an intimidating defense, they were often no match for the dagger-like teeth and bone-crushing power of a giant carnosaur. It's possible that meat-eaters such as Tyrannosaurus rex also cared for their young, teaching them how to hunt and kill their prey.
dinosaurs disappear? There are many theories. The most popular one says that in the Cretaceous period, a giant meteor struck the Earth. that were close by were killed instantly. The impact of the meteor created a huge cloud of dust which blotted out the sun and changed the climate, causing many plants and animals to die. Some dinosaurs could not survive the colder temperatures, Others starved as the food they depended on disappeared. But not all animals perished at the end of the Cretaceous. How other creatures survive these hard times is still a mystery. Are dinosaurs related to birds? Even the largest carnosaurs ran on two feet, like giant birds. Some smaller theropods behave more like speedy birds than like reptiles. These racers were called, appropriately, ostrich dinosaurs. Many dinosaurs migrated in groups just like a flock of birds. And some experts think that small, meat-eating dinosaurs evolved wings and feathers. Maybe they flew into the future, becoming the birds we see today. <laughs> 